Hello and welcome once again to that little thing we call lunch crafting with me, your old buddy Wendell, just hanging out here in the Minecraft world one hour each week. Good to see you all today. We already got activity in the chat there. A big special woohoo to Moongarita, who was the first one in the chat today. Good to see you, Moongarita. P Ninja, Scarlet Unicorn, Warcry Mango. Good to see you all. Thank you for being here. We're going to dive right in. There we go. Back in the house. How's everybody doing today? Oh, I hear cat. I always hear cat in this house. Oh, drinks for Moongarita. Good idea. Good idea, Scarlet Unicorn. A special drink of two cans of Diet Double Dew for Moongarita. For being first today. Drink that stuff slowly. It's not good for you. That is, that is, that is to do for you. P Ninja, P Ninja just subbed. Oh, thank you so much, P Ninja. Been subscribed for 12, 12. This is the big 12. One year of subs. Wow. It's it's hard to believe. It's hard to believe it has been a year. Been doing this. Merry Easter. Merry Easter. Merry Easter to subs. Wow. Thank you so much. Oh yes, and oh, I, I I saw earlier. I meant to I meant to say something. I saw it in the in the loading screen. Scarlet Unicorn posting the Santa Homer because she can. Fantastic! Thank you so much. All right. So what are we doing here? It's raining. Gutavi, good to see you. As as I was just saying, it's raining, and I'm glad you could be here, Gutavi, for the rain. It's a lovely rainy day here, both in in the real world and in the Minecraft world. It is raining. Does the Minecraft world just know that it's raining outside so it starts raining too? Maybe. Let me buy you a drink. I can get you one can of Diet Double Dew. Someone got me a spare. Oh, thank you. I, I, I can't. Oh, that's stuff. Oh, that's dangerous stuff. That is all you, Moongarita. You deserve it. You deserve both cans of, of Diet Double Dew. Oh my gosh. I don't, I don't need that stuff, but I appreciate the offer. Thank you. It is raining here too, and the dog is displeased. I'll bet. I'll bet. I'll bet the little dog does not appreciate the rain. Is Minecraft reality? I mean, when you think about the world... Don't, don't, just don't think about the world. We'll just think about Minecraft. This is our reality now. We have rejected reality, and we are accepting this new one. Where we sleep on this blocky bed. All right, made it morning, still raining, it rained all night. Oh, it's clearing up. Okay, so we can go outside now. So what were we doing last time? We had just started the idea of building the indoor flower garden here, indoor greenhouse for our beehive. So we need to dig up the stone floor and put down dirt for the flower garden. Right, Pringles? Yeah, Pringles just looks back at me like, I don't know, man. I don't know if this is a good idea. Just don't think about the world. <laughs> Wendell Merch win. That's it. You can just have a mug, be sitting there, you know, drinking your coffee, and it'll say on it, just don't think about the world. Wendell. I could see that. I could see that happening. Why not? All right. I'm gonna dig up the floor. Mug, shirt, poster, hat, phone, case stickers, and Lego! Oh yes! Do you wanna build a, a Lego me? Just Lego my face? All out of blocks. Would that would I be the, the Lego model or would I be the minifigure? I don't know. I just saw. They announced it today, officially. Lego is making the Atari 2600, and it looks really neat. I like those. I like the old. I like the old game systems, and this this model looks really cool. Gotta check it out. Go Google that. Atari, a Lego Atari, brand new. Saw that too. Yeah. See why I choose Bowser is both. That, see, 
But see, Scarlet Unicorn keeps up with all the LEGO news. I've seen that Bowser, too, that great big Bowser. He's like a puppet. And, you know, we appreciate puppets around here. So a big LEGO Bowser puppet, that's pretty cool. He's expensive, though. I mean, a lot of LEGO is. Never had the LEGO set. Wow. That's, that's, I've not heard that before. LEGO's just everywhere. It just seemed like, like so many people have had LEGO sets. You don't know what you're missing, Moon Green. I gotta get yourself, get yourself some fun toy blocks. And Pringles, get out of that hole. What is this pig doing? Giant Lego Bowser at Comic-Con this, oh, is Comic-Con this weekend? I didn't, I didn't realize Comic-Con had snuck up on us again. They're finally back to doing, doing the in-person Comic-Cons. I wonder if they'll have any big news. Used to be lots of big news coming out of Comic-Con. Huge collection of blocks when I was younger, but never like a set. Used to free build. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, I think. I mean, that's the way it used to be. You know, it would just... Lego was, you know, around the kids' imagination. You know, hey kids, here's a bunch of blocks. Make a thing. Now it's all, you know, it's it's like a very licensed, all the stuff. It's all, it's all licensed properties. Well, you know, well, that's fun too. But you can't get rid of the imagination. The imagination's important. So you, you did it right, Moongarita. You did it right. Did get gifted a Harry Potter one that I haven't touched. Oh, there's so many of those. There's so many Harry Potter Legos. Harry Potter's got so many sets. Legitimate problem with Lego. My house does anyway. No, just, just build the house out of Lego. Problem solved. You know, take the, tear down that wall. Plastic is it's probably stronger than the drywall anyway. Why not? Oh, there's quite a hole under my house. I think I might have a sinkhole here. <laughs> eh. It's fine. Nobody fall in that. Can't even kick the house out. <laughs> yes. Oh, there's our sheep. Oh, look. Look at the monster party that's happening over there. In our river trap. Everyone's stuck. That's where I like them. Where they can't get to me. I'm fine with that. Wendell says to demolish the house and just go full Lego. Yep. Yep. That's my advice. I'm full of good advice. That's why you gotta buy my mug. My mug with advice. Why did I put that there? That was not good advice. Get out of there. Oh, and now we're riding Pringles. There we go. Yep. Look at that face. Look at that face. That's that's the reaction. No one's gonna try and jump the wall either. No one wants to step on Lego Scarlet Unicorn. That's it! That's what we should have! Minecraft, let me just put like a layer of Legos around the wall. No one will come near it. They're not gonna want to step on those. It would work better than the lava. Meow, meow. I gotta dig it up in sections because my animals keep jumping in the holes. Because they're crazy. Okay, but hear me out. There are smooth pieces with no nubs that we could use for floors and walls. That's true. They look very nice. You got those nice smooth pieces. You mix them in. You can do amazing stuff with Lego these days. These Lego engineers are very creative, I must say.
You can put a carpet on a berry bush that's buried underground so no mob will try to cross it. Disables their pathfinding algorithm. We're hacking the system. We're, we're going in. We're in the lake. We're in the Minecraft matrix. We got to outthink them. That's the way. This is good. This is good advice, Moongarita. Plant a berry bush. Put down carpet. Totally confuse the monsters. I love it. This is a good plan. You know a lot of stuff about, about Minecraft Moongarita. It's good to have you here. It's good to have an expert standing by. I think I should leave the stone around my, uh... Pringles, what on... What on earth are you... Speaking of confused pathing algorithm... What the... What the hey, Pringles? Wow. I don't know what that was. There. And and the grass is is growing underneath the glass. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so we got grass in the house. Why not? You can walk over the carpet, no hurry, but the mobs won't. No hurty. That's that's so clever. There's so many good ways to get the monsters. Although I like the one that we accidentally stumbled into and they just all get stuck in the lazy river. Look at them jumping up and down. We want out of the lazy river. Please let us go. No. They stay. You stay in the lazy river. Lazy monsters. Moat. The lazy river moat. The lazy moat. That's it. It's the lazy moat. Don't get trapped in the lazy moat. Or you'll end up like them. Just bouncing up and down. All day long. It's fantastic. Okay. Got a little more over here. Pringles. Riding on Pringles again. Soon as I dig a hole, old Pringles is just quick to jump in it. He's like, there could be candy in there. Let me check. No. No candy. Pringles, you're weird. He oinked at me. I'll leave that one. Hello, Sally Chicken. What are you doing? I am just confusing the animals today. You okay? You okay? That was weird. I think I got dirt where I want it. I should put a piece of carpet like right here. It'd be a nice entryway. Oh, now it's almost night again. We spent the whole Minecraft day throwing dirt on the floor. What a day. Sally Chicken! That's the Sally Chicken is running away music. Come back here. Get back here. Come on! Pringles! Let Sally Chicken in. We're gonna put Sally Chicken back on the roof. That's where she's supposed to be. Sally Chicken, come here. Come on.
Okay. Till she yeets herself off again. I hope not. I hope we have yeet-proofed the roof at this point. Okay, you can have the seats. There you go. Now you stay up there. I'm gonna find her out in the lawn. I just know it. Oh, we missed a spot! Under Oscar! I think we're gonna have to get him up. Come on! I don't want to chop the floor out from underneath him. That would just be rude. I'd like to put some more stone outside, because we got the grass right out there, and that's weird. I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna fix that. Grab the cobblestone. Good morning, sheep family! How's everybody doing? having a great time out here. It's nice having a sheep family outside. All right, this is what we want to get. We want to fix this. nicer. Now I have a proper foundation instead of just dirt. All the way around. Let's see what we got in here. Okay. Now how do I get rid of the grass? I want it to be dirt, not grass. I mean, I guess I can do it that way. to use a hoe. The grass will grow no matter what, eventually. Hmm. You could be right. But let's go ahead and plant our flowers. I guess the grass is nice, too. Oh, ran out of flowers. Look at that. Just looking nice. I wonder if I should make them more orderly? They're kind of willy-nilly. Just have like a perimeter of roses. Google says that if the dirt not touching grass, it won't grow. Okay, there you go. That's kind of what I guessed, because it was growing in from the outside. Calm down. The animals get really confused when I dig up the floor.
Don't forget to make room for the hive. Well, yeah, the hive's right here. I think. Isn't that the hive? Or is there something else to it? Will they get bigger? Also, ignore me. Okay. Will do. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I would not ignore the good advice of Scarlet Unicorn. We would not have torches. We're not for you. So I think we did it. I mean, I can get more flowers. Do I have more flowers? Get other kinds. Yes. Yes. Mochi! I know that emote. I know that emote. That's the Mochi emote. Good to see you. We're just finishing up uh, planting some flowers on the first floor of the house. As you can see, we have many rose bushes. And I have run out of flowers. There's like a flower in here. One dandelion. See if I got any upstairs. Yes, indoor garden! Indoor greenhouse! And then we're gonna get the bees, and they can use the flowers, and make us honey. Oh, I got a couple of these pink ones. Oh, there's some red tulips. We got enough red flowers, I think. Maybe when bees come and pollinate, they'll grow more. That would be nice. Help me out here, nature. Oak leaves. Let's put those down. I gotta clean up. We got a bunch of slabs. There's the coal. That's how real nature works. I don't know about Minecraft nature. It could be fit but we, I, th I think mine, Minecraft nature kind of follows real nature. Hey there, Sandy. Good to see you. Yes, it's you want to live here in my wonderful indoor greenhouse. It's a good place. I'm liking it. Put our eggs in here. We got a lot of eggs. Thanks to Sally Chicken. Probably want to keep your shoes on in this house. Yes. So I think what it is... Here, I'll show you. You come down here. You got your shoes on. Come on in. And then when you get over here, take your shoes off. Take your shoes off right here. And then you head on upstairs. We don't bring the dirt up here. No. I mean, Pringles does. Pringles is just a pig, though. So what, what can you do? But that's the plan. Put that down. Let's see. I'm gonna bring the cod. Put down some of these tools we're carrying. We're carrying a lot. I just kinda I have to just know where my stuff is now, because I can't see a lot, thanks to the flowers. But that's okay. Keep that. Keep that. Put that down. Bring that. Put that down. Put that down. We got a lot of dirt. Got a lot of dirt. Sun's getting awfully low. Sun's getting awfully low, little Pringles. There we go. And we're back. So I'll use this massive amount of dirt I have. 
start filling in the lake so our sheep have so much room to graze. Nice calm music to drop dirt by. We just breathe. And place dirt. That satisfying crunch as the dirt settles to the bottom of the lake. window lunch crafting ASMR hour as we plant the dirt listen listen to the crunch we can walk in the lake now that's a plus Right, that's all our dirt for now. Takes a lot of dirt to fill in a lake. But I think the sheep will appreciate it. Little hungry. All right, now I'm gonna go for a walk. A little impromptu adventure, if you would. We've been at the house for a while. I mean, we did venture out for the bees. And that turned out to be a disaster. Let's go check on the virtuary. See how Robinson is doing. Hello, Robinson. And green Robinson. Things are looking lovely here in the Burjuary. Got a few flowers. There's a pony over there. They're doing good. Gur Robinson, yeah, he's being nice. No more scary zombie noises. See, he just needed to get away. That house was a bad influence on Robinson. All those monsters. But out here in the Burjuary, he can be himself. Here's a bunch of flowers. Bring these back for our indoor garden. Or was Pringles the bad influence? I, I believe that. Pringles, he's a good pig. But he's got some... He has bad... Bad taste in friends. I'll say that. Still remember the time we caught him running around with a baby zombie on his back. I told him, don't hang out with those zombies. They're bad news. But yet, you know... Pringle's gonna do what he wants to do. But I had to say, not in my house. As long as you live under my roof. Mr. Pringles, you will not hang out with those with those low lifes, those zombie low lifes. I had to put my foot down there. Pringles gonna Pringle. Once he pops, he don't stop. Parenting's hard when you're raising a pig. Oh, we're gonna have to. Chicken, we're sorry, but we need the feathers. They didn't even give me the feathers. We do need feathers. We gotta make more arrows. We 
We've got a scary hole right here. I'm gonna just move on. Off into the desert we go. I want to know what's on the other side of this desert. We've been to this desert. There's a town over here. But we haven't really ventured much further. Here's the village. With the adorable bunny rabbit. I want it. Does this village have carrots? Oh, I should have brought carrots. I should always bring everything to make friends with the animals. <laughs> sand bunny! I want the sand bunny! Sometimes... Oh my gosh, there's a bunch. Oh, this village doesn't have any food. It's all abandoned. We gotta go, we gotta go. We got back to the house. We gotta go back to the house. Get carrots. And make friends with a sand bunny. This is now the only thing I want to do. You cannot tame rabbits. You can lure them home and fence them in. They can live in the mortuary. I have the, uh... I have the leash. Can bring the rabbits back to the mortuary, and they can hop around and be adorable. Look at my weird house. My house has such a weird shape. You would never see a house like that. We can give them little carrots. That's that's it. They'll be adorable, and we'll give them carrots. Oh my gosh, our house is really something with all these flowers. Pringles is just staying upstairs like, I don't know about this. Okay, bring the carrots. I'm gonna bring the wheat. Something likes wheat. Something must. I had to pick the tall, I did, I picked the tallest flower in the game. I just, I had a bunch. There's the layer of dandelions. Not the tallest flower in the game. This is starting to look like my Animal Crossing Island, where I just kind of let the flowers go nuts. Oh, is it getting dark? Where's the sun? Oh, it's heading down. Better delay. Just come hang out here on the balcony. Wait for night. Hmm. It's a lovely view. It looks like a big mushroom in, in the distance. It's a hot tub. Ah, it's nice here. It's so nice. It's nice now that we're keeping the monsters There's away. No place like home. Yes. There's no place like home. We've done a lot of work here. They used to have a small single rose, but replaced it with a bush. A really t 
tall bush. I've never seen rose bushes that are as tall as me. There we go. We had to wait for sleep. Got the other gate. Haven't been to enough gardens. There are plenty of enormous rose bushes. Shows what I know about rose bushes. Not much. To be fair, I don't spend much time in gardens. Which is probably why my indoor garden looks the way it does. Lack of reference. Oh, here's a different flower. Put that in our garden. And here's the bunnies! Oh, does it want the flower? Oh, it looked like it was running. It's running. Oh, it is! Do you want this? The bunny wants the flower! <gasps> oh, it's that guy. It's the Enderman. I didn't see anything. Just gonna walk over here. It's not oh no yet. Tragedy has yet to strike. Okay. I think we're okay. Aww. Bunny loves the carrot. Let's see. And he's gone. I got him. I lassoed a bunny. I don't know if he's cool with this. Well, the birds are, uh, making some noise again. <laughs> Cowboy- the bunny just went over the fence! Bunny? I didn't know the bunnies could jump the fence. <laughs> Well, now he's calm. Now he's like, oh, wait. Oh, it's you. It's this guy making all the racket. There you go. Now, how do I take the... How do I take the rope off? Oh, I see. It's it's telling me. But the bunny's so fast. There we go. Well, it's here, and it goes swimming just to get a carrot. There you go. Happy bunny. And now we have a happy loving bunny hopping around in the virtuary. I'm going to call that success. Wow. 
We made a new animal friend! Something's making noise. Something sounds bad. Oh, I think they're, they're, Oh, wow, that's loud. Oh, gosh, did a bird end up on my head? Oh, my gosh! Oh! Where did the birds go? I think we know. We're just gonna... Walk back. Okay, they got off my head. Oh, but they're just... Yep. Here they come. Coming in for a landing. That didn't work. If you don't make them sit, they'll follow. Well, they were sitting. All right, birds. Coming again. All right, come on. Birds are tricky. Guys. Okay, I didn't want to do that. Okay, we've unlassoed the bird. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, I had the lasso again. <laughs> Sit. Okay, that's one. No. No, 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 no. Oh, no. No, do not sit on my head. Sit. Not on my head. The birds not like the bunnies. I don't know, maybe no one's getting along. This bird just really wants to sit on my head. Sit. Okay. Okay. I think everyone is in the virtuary. That should be. Bird rebellion. That's what it feels like. Okay. Birds and bunnies are getting along. And we're going to run away. Quick as we can. Hello, other bunny. Can we just keep, like, leashing the bunnies? And just have, like, a, a big bunch of bunnies. Alright, we got one.
Oh, he, he resaw. He ran. Oh, he jumped in a hole. Oh, he's okay. Bunnies are quick. And I am not. Uh-oh. Sun's going down. There we go. I was ready. Bringing the bunny on the adventure. attached to some sleeping guy yes bunny's just like no no run around and i'm just sleeping away what is this block okay we're gonna let the bunny go this is nuts hey come here trying to untie it I, I can't. There we go. <laughs> it's their emotional support block. And now it's mine. Composter. I knew it's, it's something different. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Kitty. Baby kitty. Oh, I gotta eat. I don't think I... I've only got the cooked fish. I, they don't want that. But we've done this before. They, they'll be friend with you for a little while. And then just run off. for the fish I think what that was what was that Nautilus shell I don't think they're gonna want that oh this is some new terrain this looks like bamboo oh we could use this we don't have any bamboo Will we find a panda? Yes. Oh wow, I jumped the bottom and like all of it fell down. Convenient. Now I want a panda. We better bring some bamboo in case we find one. All right, got a bunch of bamboo. Searching around bamboo town. If I were a panda, where would I be? Don't see anything out here. Oh, this bamboo just goes on and on. 
I mean, if I were a panda, this is where I'd want to live. It's like an endless buffet. There's more over there. Ah, you're not Pringles. And you're not a panda. You're a pony, not the panda. Pig, pony, giant mushroom. Frog. I would like a frog. We have a lovely lake back at my house. Come on. Join me, frog, on the search for panda. Oh, now we're getting out of the bamboo. It's a little Kermy, exactly. That's what we'll call him, little Kermy. On this episode of Windle Kidnaps Wildlife. But it's okay because it's Minecraft Wildlife. It works completely different. I'm just helping them with their pathing algorithm. Our frog's in there somewhere. Just crawling around. I don't know what I would need to attract a frog. Do I offer it bugs? Don't have bugs. There's so much bamboo. And so not panda. There's pigs. A lot of pigs. Oh, what's that? Torches? Big torches? What is... Is this just on fire? What is all this? Did we just show up late to a forest fire? And a whole lot of lava. Oh, there's like remnants of tree. Did the lava come cascading out of the side of the mountain and light a tree on fire? I'm gonna guess that's what happened. All that bamboo and no panda. This dirt looks kind of strange. Guess it's just normal dirt. It's got like a weird top layer though. The mysteries of the Minecraft world. Oh, in, in my in my exploration, I forgot about our frog. I guess the tether broke. We do not have a frog anymore. He went to find his own way. Oh, this could be feathers. Feathers. No feathers. Random fires are a thing, just like real life.
something's growling at me. Well, I was all hyped for Panda. That just looked like such a perfect place for a panda. But there's a kitty. Did you fall down? There, we helped it. We helped it get back up. That's my good deed for the day. Well, I think we're going to have to call this hour without having a panda. Oh, I may have spoken too soon. Get the bamboo. Oh, but it's night. Oh, I hope it's still there. I saw it. I, I swear I did. Hey, party. Would you like some of this bamboo? He loves it. You want to come home with me? Yeah, you do? Oh, he's so, he's so slow and tumbly. He's, he loves me. Have some more. Hey there, Marco. We got a panda. Oh my gosh. But can we get him home? Come on. Oh my gosh, he's so slow. Hey there, Mango! Yeah! We made Panda Friend! I'm trying to lure him back! Needs to open up my own zoo! We're going for it! We're gonna have all the animals! Come on! Come on, buddy! You can do it! Wow, he's the slowest thing ever. Oh my gosh. I mean, come on. That was fantastic, come on. Come on, we gotta get you home. Someday. Someday we're gonna get him home. Some holiday season, exactly. We just have to get out of the desert. I can see it right there. Then we'll plant lots of bamboo for him. Oh, we're gonna have to make like a path. I'll bet he can't get over the, the lazy moat. He's a coming. Yeah, you probably need a little break. Nom nom nom. All right, let's go. 
Had to stop and think about that. I can see my weird house from here! Snack break every 500 feet! When you're a panda, you gotta take lots of snack breaks. Stop and have a little snack break. Mochi ordered churros for the panda! These are like, this bamboo is the churro of the panda world. Clearly. He's still coming. Watch these holes. The very slow process of bringing a panda home. <laughs> Little snack break. There's the house! Here's the birduary. Should the panda live in the front yard or in the birduary? What's a good place for a panda? I mean, I'm thinking front yard. Who wouldn't want to have a panda in their front yard? We've had enough birds for it. exactly. Oh, hold on there, buddy. Okay. Gonna have to fill this in a bit. Oh my gosh, she's squeaking. Gonna need some more dirt. Probably have to knock... Oh, that's true. We probably will have to knock down the gate. Hey there, my man Evans! You're just in time! We got a happy little panda! There you go, have a snack break. Panda's like too big to go in the lazy river. I can't even get to the gate. Come over here. Yeah, there's no there's no way he's getting through there. Oh, Panda found his own way. Okay. Don't worry about Panda. Pandas can swim. And now we'll grow some bamboo. Sheep family, meet your new brother. One day we'll teach him kung fu. The panda.
pretend is pretend it doesn't have a name yet. Oh, we 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 haven't we have figured that out. This is just it all happened so fast. We were about to end the stream, and then we saw this guy. Plant some bamboo for him. Gonna go fix that gate. And just like that, we have a panda. Have another snack break before we sign off. Wow. I was not expecting uh, today to go like that. Huh, Pringles, can you believe it? A new member of the family and a bunny. The bunny in the mortuary. A day. All right, everybody. Well, that that was unexpected, but very appreciated. We have a new friend that we need to name. So next time, I think we're going to do that. Start thinking of good names for our new panda friend who lives in the front yard. Front yard panda. Yeah, we're going to we'll think about that. We'll do that next week, same time when we do some more lunch crafting. It's been great hanging out with you all here. Hope you all had a good time too. Roger, yes. Salute. Salute for Mochi. It's good seeing you all. Thank you so much for the sub, P Ninja. It had that happen on early on. Really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got for now. We are still working on the next karaoke stream. Nothing to report right now, but I'll let you know when it's time for that. Until then, yeah. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you next time. So long!